to a dude and a chick review a movie. I'm the chick. And I'm the dude. Obviously. So today <laughs> we're going to <laughs> we're gonna review Think Like a Man 2. I got a question. Okay. Why do you say Think Like a Man 2 and you spell T-O-O? -O? Because in English class you learned that 2, T-O-O, -O, means also. Okay, so Think Like a Man also? The Again. first one is Think Like a Man. And then they say think like a man also. Why are you yelling? That makes Why are no you because Dwayne, that makes no be, sense. You know what? You wanna know they why that said, movie that in? They should have said they should have said You never said anything about that during. Why did I get married too? Because it's not spelled O. It's not spelled T O O. Yes it is. No. For sure. It's Ah, from the beginning, this movie is horrible. Why don't you Google it? I'm gonna Google right. it while we talking. Let's talk about who's in the movie first time. Yes, I believe I am right. Go ahead with the list. Who's in it? Who's in it, Dwayne? Kevin Hart. Funny guy, Michael Ely. He got to do a scene with Halle Berry in uh, HBO. Made that for, chick is oh, crazy, God. and she's cute. Ooh, she's a Jerry Fierro, the guy from uh, that Showtime Entourage. show, Entourage. Megan Good. Was Gina Hall from Eve's Bayou. Gina Hall just Ooh. out with Kevin Hart. Taraj P Henson. What about last Ooh. night? Why don't you call? Terrence yeah. Jenkins, Romney Malco from a uh, 40 year old version. What else was he in? He was in Baby Mama. <laughs> really? He was a doorman, yeah, I actually have that movie. Jennifer Lewis. Which we all love, cause she was Tina Turner Mama. Gary Owen, funny guy. We've actually seen Gary Owen. And the best actress in the world, Gabriel Union. Your sarcasm is noted. Okay, so. All eyes. right, what was Think Like a Man also about? <laughs> <laughs> Think Like a Man also. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say, man, look. Oh honestly, also. honestly. I did not think oh, this look, look, movie look. was Think, good. Why did I get married too, T? Oh, why did I get oh. married also? Okay, God. Uh, I'm just gonna say I did not like this movie. He did not. It had a few funny parts. Kevin Hart was funny at times. It's reaching. That movie but is what you just call reaching. It was slapstick comedy to me. It was like they just put it together. They should have left. The first one was decent. The, the first, first one, one was, was good. decent. It was good. But they should have just left it at that. It's like just because you make a good movie, you have to make a sequel. Stop making sequels. That's it how did. It the storyline was cool. Okay, you go to Vegas for a bachelor classes. party, but. I wouldn't waste my money to see it. Definitely wait for the video. It's not that funny to me. A lot of people are saying, oh, you man, it's hilarious. You have diarrhea with this movie, don't you? It's you uh, will not stop. So anyway. Uh, there is a positive. Gabriel Union does not say much in the movie. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> Leave chicken arms. Uh, do you want to say anything yeah, negative I was about the movie? To talk period about the movie. Okay, go ahead, give your input. You can also give Bro, your input. Hate. Why don't you also give All right, your dude, input? Dude, shut up, dude. So anyway, <laughs> this is the chick speaking. So the movie, I don't, I wouldn't say it was horrible. I know a lot of people will like it. I think the problem with the movie is that like it's part two and people feel the need to do a part two, but I think it kind of lost the message of part one where you know the girls will learn to think like a man i mean i get it's the after part and their relationships evolving afterwards but i felt like a lot of it was lost on like shenanigans that weren't totally necessary Slapstick stuff. there's a chick scene that wasn't necessary mm. i mean there were some parts that were kind of funny but i mean it's it's supposed to basically be about them moving on in their relationships after the girls read the book, and, you know, improving relationships, improving. And I mean, there's parts of it that's in there, but like I said, a lot of it just got covered up with like stupid stuff, kind of. Let's put. It I actually like think what hurt that movie is, and this is crazy, stuff. is that they didn't have Steve Harvey in there explaining the stuff. Yeah. Like in the first oh, one, I he would all about that. he would explain like you know men think like this, but women need. to... They took that out of it, and it's just Kevin Hart narrating. Yeah. And it was, oh. But like I said, I mean, I was fine that he wasn't narrating because, I mean, the book's already kind of, they've done the book. Kevin much. Hart narrated in the first one, but yeah. they did have those cutscenes where Steve Harvey yeah. was breaking sure. down how oh, so, yeah. men think like this. It would have been cool if he jumped in. They and didn't like, do that you know, at all. What is each person doing wrong within the yeah, relationship? It was, uh, so like I said, it's an evolution of the first one, but just done with too much, like, trying to be funny. 
and it's a little like too outrageously funny and I understand that it's in Vegas and what happens in Vegas obviously never seems to stay in Vegas anymore but I mean just it's just overdone okay it's, it's like what uh Tyler Perry like you better get your uh ranking one through ten first because I'm gonna murder this I give the movie a five. Oh, halfway so you can, it's like, okay. You know what? It's, it's okay. okay. There are people who are going to like that this. That movie story. is a three and a half out of ten. Three and a half. And that's, that's being generous. That movie's horrible. You want to reel that hate in this little bit? I'm just saying, it's a bad movie. I mean, for all that hype. For all that hype, that's a bad movie. Why don't you put a blanket on comfort a little bit? So you so gave it a five. Yeah. That's pretty low, too. It is low. It's lower and than I would And I gave it a three and a half. You want to go and give it a... I would definitely say you could totally wait for Netflix four? or whatever. Yeah, you... Why do you always have to put halves in there? I did half. Because it's not... It's... I did a half once. Once today. Ah, you'll do a half again. Whatever. Three and a half and Everything five. Everything you say is a half. So you give it three and a half and a five. What three. you going Why don't you give it a one like you really want to nah, do? Nah, I ain't give it a one. Because all you've been talking about how much. This is probably the longest dude to chick movie review we've ever done. Because probably. you've been spilling your freaking hatred. This is one of the worst movies I've seen in no, a while. No, it ain't one of the worst ones. The worst it's, movie it's, I've ever seen thanks to you. Skyline. Top of the list. Skyline beat this movie out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, what are we going to give it? Relive it. You got to average those two points. Four. Okay, we give it a four. Definitely do not go see this movie. Support the my black recommendation. <laughs> oh God. Hey, people trying. People made it a living. So anyway, but I'm just saying, you can wait till it comes out on Netflix or Redbox or cable. Okay. Whichever. Do whatever you want with it. We are out. Peace, love, and hair grease.